God. And God, we thank you, Almighty God, that you send your son Jesus and he came. Almighty God. And Father God, we ask you, mighty God, for strength us, mighty God. We cannot do it. It's Psalm 48. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Sister Jaden, for appointing what I have to do it. So, hands up our heads and may the Holy Ghost welcome.
Ghost this morning, who is the head of my life, my pastor, leaders, brethren all, I greet you in the name of Jesus. God's doing, he has called you men to 
be his image. And there are three P's that comes out of God creation for our fathers. Firstly, you are a priest because you are God's representative and you are called to be the minister of your household and the minister in the church. You are called to be a provider and you are called to be a protector. Can you find men? I hope you are finding the three P's, hallelujah, in your life and in your ministry. As a priest, your time, your time comes out being a priest. Fathers, men who are the place, fathers are men who place the world's hopes and dreams in their children. As a priest, fathers, you are the first teacher of your children. Hallelujah. You will become the first teacher of your children. And Proverbs 22 and verse 6 speaks to you being the first teacher of your children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So you are called fathers to be your children first teacher. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. You are called to give care, your care to your children, whether they be your your biological children, your children of adoption, hallelujah. You are supposed to be a father to any child who opens his heart to you. There are so many times that, our, that there are children who are trying to find fathers and sometimes our men are so taken up in their biological children that they don't even realize that there is some there's somebody who, who is reaching out hallelujah to them but this morning i want to say to our godly fathers this morning that god has given you a bowl of compassion hallelujah and no matter maybe the look on somebody's face we have so many troubled teenage boys today hallelujah in our communities and i say fathers on this platform you have to get as they look on their face sometimes their face looks so threatening they, 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 they just look so unapproachable hallelujah but you have to reach in hallelujah to the strength that god has put in you knowing that he has called you a hallelujah as a representative of him god is the father of our creation and so when he places you fathers in the role that he has placed you it is to take on his role hallelujah to become a father to all those who are in need of such hallelujah your care as a provider hallelujah you are the anchor upon which your children stand hallelujah can we can we ever realize and look fathers at some of the troubled teens when you ask them where is their father they some of them have never seen a father some of them have only heard of a father hallelujah so that anchor that they are supposed to have at the beginning of growing up is lost but as pastors as fathers as christian fathers you are called to step into the gap hallelujah and to show care and love try to anchor our unstable young men they come so many times to our churches they do not pay attention they are fidgety hallelujah but we have to reach out to them fathers you are called hallelujah to stand in the gap as a representative of god and if you can read at a time convenient first timothy chapter 4 speaks to you as a provider as a care as the anchor for your children hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your love. Your love. This is what is so much lacking in 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 in, 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 in fathers, in most fathers generally. I don't know how, how some persons were grown up, how they were cultured for want of a better word, where it is it is a stigma for men to hug. It is a stigma for men to hug boys. It's a stigma for men to hug, for men to hug, to hug men. But it is not true. It is not true. Sometimes all some of our troubled teens, some of our sons who feel they are unloved, all they want is that assurance, that fatherly hug. Hallelujah. Your love, fathers, as you are a protector, in, in your love comes out the protector that God has called you to be. Your love is unconditional. Support your children no matter what acknowledge your children no matter what when they have great achievements acknowledge your children when they have their downfalls you can just simply simply through love in your voice in your attitude because trust me when our children do wrong the first thing we do is get angry this is not what and this is why we say, this is not how I grow you up. This is, was not what was intended. Hallelujah. But even then, when their action goes against their training fathers, you have got to be there for them. Assure them, you are still my son. You are still my daughter. I cannot give up on you. Pray with your children. Hallelujah. Oh, I God. want this morning, I challenge the fathers in the hearing of my voice uh, that you will propose, you will desire to be a father like Job. Hallelujah. Oh, Job had his children. He blessed them well. They all had their own riches. But when it came to the time when they wanted to celebrate and to have a party, Job would say, I am going to stay away. I am going to intercede for my children. Per adventure, they did something that bring about God anger. I am going to pray God to protect my children. Fathers, this is the role that you are called to play. Hallelujah. Sometimes the children, they are all over the globe. We do, you, we do not know, you do not know what they are doing, but be a job. Be the intercessor. Lord, peradventure my child have wronged you. I am, I am interceding for his soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My fathers on this platform and in the ear of my voice this morning, your greatest passion and your greatest care should be for the souls of your children. Hallelujah. That was Job. That was Job's main focus. He wanted to make sure that his children had a right relationship with God. Fathers, we do not want you to become a father as Eli. Although Eli was the priest, Eli knew that his sons were doing abominable things in the house of God. And he turned a blind eye. Hallelujah. He turned a blind eye to the doings of his sons. And what happened to Eli, sir? And they all perished without God and Christ. Uh, and Eli himself uh, had such an untimely death uh, because God had a heart against him for not reprimanding his son for desecrating the temple of Almighty God. Fathers, you are called to stand for truth. You are called to stand for righteousness. And righteousness, said the word of God, exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. It might not feel good. It might not sound good. When you have to stand firm and reprimand your children, they will not appreciate it then. But when their backs are against the wall, they will remember they will say, if I had only walked in the footstep of my father, hallelujah, hallelujah. So be the father that God has called you to be, a priest, a provider, and a protector. Hallelujah. Remember, as a dad, you must have the 
most influence on your kids, not the culture that the society presents. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is a story of an elderly man who told his grandson about a battle that goes on inside people. He said the, bat the, the battle between two wolves is inside all of us. One is evil. It is anger, envy, jealousy, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, false pride, and ego. The other is good. It is joy, peace, love, hope, humility, faith, truth, compassion. The grandson said, he thought on it for a moment and then he asked his grandfather, which wolf wins? The old man looked at his grandson and he said, the one you feed. Father, if we feed our children, hallelujah, what is truth? Hallelujah, how to be honest citizens. Yes, when they go to especially the universities. They come upon uh, they come upon the two wolves. Yes. And the and the, the one that they left home with, we pray that will prevail. When prayer pressure comes upon our children, it is not because you did not train them well, it is not because you did not teach them well, but it is because when they reach out into the world where the adult is not there, as we would think most times, holding a big stick over their head, they just tell themselves. Let me try this. Let me see what is this. Let me see what is this. And this is the thing, fathers, is that we need you need to be open to your children. Yes. If it's even from experience, one of the problems we have today by our society is the way it is. Is that once God has saved us, we become holy and holier than thou. Mm -hmm. So we do not take our children down memory lane and show them the pitfalls that we have been in. And to oh. say, I do not want the same thing to happen to you. It is because the grace of God caught me at a good time why I am standing today yes. as a father or as a mother before Amen. you. Hallelujah. Sometimes when I see the things that are happening and persons are committed, incarcerated, I lift my hand and I say, God, it is only because of your mercy why yes. I am not in that same position. Yes. Father, we need to teach our children the good. We need to show, expose them to the evils that await them. Yes. When they are aware that it is not all about praise the Lord, hallelujah, there is a different world that they must go through. Yes. And one of the things that will take them through the world is the words that you have taught them. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. They will always wrap back upon the word that they have been taught. So I challenge you today, my fathers, in the hear of my voice. Step up to the plate. Hallelujah. Zion is calling you to a higher place of praise. Hallelujah. My part, my uh, fathers, especially those who are pastors today, hallelujah, you will have to put on your sneakers, you will have to go down to the ball field, try to play a game of cricket with the boys, hallelujah, let them say, pastor, this can't be you. Mm. Because why? You want to you want to change the culture that they are in. You want to change the way that they behave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fathers, I can tell you, sometimes in the community I live, I cause my young men to become uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. They're not coming to church, but you find them on the play field. You find them on the little shacks where they go to do their little smoking, their little gambling. And... Uh, so I am a justice and a peace, and sometimes I would just drive up and I would switch my vehicle off, roll my windows down and start observing them. Of course, their behavior is going to change because what is Sister Fasta about now? What is Sister Fasta about now? What is Sister Fasta about now? And when I see them start to get flustered, I would just say to them, look, I have to know who you are. You don't come to church, but you come for a recommendation. So I have mm -hmm. to meet you where you are to see your behavior, your actions. Hallelujah this morning, Holy Ghost. 
pastors, we need to get out into the communities and see how best we can interact with these young men. Hallelujah. Yes. And so that we can we can push, we can pull them in. Hallelujah. What they think we are after their attitude. They think we are after what they are after, but they would not know that all that we are after is their souls. My God. Oh, I challenge my fathers this morning. I challenge my fathers this morning. God created you in his image. And he created you to be a priest, a provider, and a protector. Seek God the more. He is never going to leave you. It will look like all your efforts are in vain. But they have, the payday is coming. Hallelujah. There is going to be a payback, Father. Keep on being the Father that God has called you to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. And the children that God has given to you. They have, you have been given your biological children. Some of our fathers, your teachers in the schoolroom, you have been given a whole gamut of children that have no manners. Lord have mercy. But God has placed you there for a time as this. And you must do the work of him who sent you. It is day. It is day, fathers. It is day. Wake up, awake. Shake yourself from the slumber. Shake yourself up, fathers. Go after them. Go after them. The more they run from you, go after them. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. I can just imagine, fathers, you love to go fishing. And when, when you throw the line out and you feel a tug, you start, you start to roll in the cord. You start to pull because you want to see what is holding on to the bait that you have set. And so the Holy Ghost has set you with a string of baits, the word of God, encouragement. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, hallelujah, so many times... Our oh, young men have, have caught onto the bait. Lord God, Lord God. But as they come, Lord, we, we start we start to breathe down on them so hard that before they are even into the into out of shore, they have flicked back into the deep sea, into the deep sea of depression, into the deep sea of hopelessness. But this morning, this morning, fathers, you are called to be godly fathers, and God is depending upon you. Hallelujah. God is depending upon you. You have to stand like Job. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Intercede for your children. Intercede for your community. Intercede for the world at large because God has given you his position upon this earth to be free, provider, and protector. And your payday surely is coming when you will hear, come ye blessed of my father into the kingdom that is prepared for you. The Lord bless you today, fathers. Have yourself a wonderful day tomorrow in the Lord and in your homes and in your communities. But go this morning with the written across your forehead I am a priest, I am a provider, I am a protector to the will of God. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.